How's it going, everybody? You know, I always, uh, I always thought it was kind of nice when, uh, people would talk like this, uh, whether it, uh, was a, a YouTube video or some other kind of thing that I was watching, so, you know, I just thought it'd be kind of nice to do a video sort of where I speak into the microphone and look into the camera like this and, you know, talk about something that might interest you or might interest someone else, uh, I don't really know exactly what to talk about, so I'm just going to pull up something on my uh, internet browser here and kind of rattle on about it, and maybe you might find this kind of relaxing. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, GIMP. That's G-I-M-P, and that is a photograph, a uh, photograph file editor, open source, and it's going to allow you to do uh, different photo e editing things that you wouldn't be able to do in, you know, in your basic Microsoft Paint or uh, other editors. Now, what you're going to want to do in order to outline text, and outlining text is a very useful tool, especially for making thumbnails. A lot of the times, you're going to want to be outlining text. Okay, and so you're going to want to open the GIMP, file new, you open the, fo the photo, and you make a text box just like you normally would. Now, make your text. Now, after that, this is where it starts to get interesting. First, what you're going to want to do after writing your text is you're going to want to go to the text tool, right-click the text box, and hit path from text. That's going to set your pathway to the text that you just created. Next, go to the menu layer and new layer. Make it transparent and call the layer text outline. Next, go to the Select menu and choose From Path. Your text will now be highlighted, okay? Next, go to the menu Select and choose Grow. And after you choose Grow, it'll ask you to select how many pixels you want it to grow from. Try four or five, but you might want more depending on how thick you want the outline to be. Next, you go to your Bucket Tool, choose the color that you want the outline to be in, and then go ahead and left-click on the area and that'll fill it in. Now, initially the, the outline will be over the original text and so you, you're going to want to move the layer back. So what, to do that, go ahead and deselect your selection, use Control shift a or you can go to the Select on the top and hit None. Next, you'll go to the Layer box by Control l and move the layer with the outline down. Now you should have a nice outline text, so I hope that was helpful. Helpful, hope it's relaxing, and let's see how this video turns out. We'll, we'll catch you on the inside loop, and as always, something something.